Welcome back everybody. So I got really into drones ever since I uh, flew a Phantom 3 at one of a family friend's house and I never really understood the craze before then but once I flew it I was like wow this is awesome. And since then I flew a couple cheaper drones that just really weren't as good. Uh, so now I'm checking out the DJI Spark. This is a $500 drone and it's about as entry level as it gets in the professional drone market. So in terms of like a quick overview while we're up here and not outside, it's it doesn't have too much going on. You obviously got your body, your arms, they're not foldable like the Mavic, uh, so that's something to note. The battery is removable, so you can, if you get a dedicated charger, you can charge it on that, but this one you just charge via a micro USB port on the back. There's also a micro SD card slot in there because there is a fixed attached 1080p uh, camera gimbal here so you can get some nice shots. Um, but if you want like the full quality shots, you need to have a micro SD card in there. And then other than that, there's just a few sensors here and there. But overall, it is a very small footprint. Even without the arms being able to fold in, you can kind of just slide this in a backpack in one of the smaller pockets and not be too worried. I would just take off the propellers if you're doing that. So this is the most basic version, the $500 version of the Spark. You can get a Fly More package, which gives you like a controller and more batteries, and that's really great. But with this basic version, you're just controlling it with their app, which is by no means the best medium to control a drone, but it does work. Uh, the battery itself lasts about 15 minutes of flight time when fully charged, which isn't a ton, but that's kind of just like, there's only so much you can do with a battery. It's a drone. I mean, it's going to take up a lot of power. But what I'm really interested in with this drone is the intelligent flight mode. So there's two in particular that I'm really excited to show you guys. One is just the follow mode. So you can like drag it on to you as a subject. And then when you walk around, it will follow you around, which is really cool. But the other one is the palm control mode. And basically you stick your palm out and it looks at your palm and you can move it with your palm. They're really cool. So we're going to go outside, fire it up and uh, get that on video. All right. Aircraft status looks good. Take off. So it's got obstacle avoidance and all that kind of jazz, so if you're going towards something, it'll start beeping um, and like it won't let you go and hit something, which is really nice so you have that you know peace of mind. There's also like crash guards you can buy if you're flying it indoors or anything. But other than that, I'm going to fly it around a little bit and then I'll show you the cool intelligent flight modes that I was talking about earlier. I mean, it's a lot of fun to fly around. It goes pretty fast. You can kind of like throw it at stuff. It can go really high up too. Obviously, I'm not going to show... Uh, you know, high up pictures of my neighborhood and stuff. But I am gonna bring it over here to show you a sample of the video quality you can get from this thing. Now the only real complaint I have with the camera is if you wanna rotate it, you have to rotate the whole drone and I'll actually bring it closer over here so you can see what I'm talking about. But rotating it is very slow. Like if you wanna rotate the camera, that's the speed at which it rotates. And that's not very fast. But I'm gonna get it facing us again. So it's recording a video right now. All right, so I stopped the video, but now I'm gonna show you some of the modes I was talking about. So the first one I'll show you is just tracking me. So to do that, I'm just going to point the camera down. And all of it's pretty intuitive. Once you get the hang of it the first time, you can kind of do it pretty easily from then on. You can see that not only does it follow me around directionally, but it also twists so the camera stays on me. And this is what the screen looks like. I hope you can see that well, but it gives a little green box around the target that it's tracking. Uh, so it's pretty easy to see like that. But my favorite mode is the palm tracking, and I'm going to do that one now. So for that one, you got to get a little closer, but it's, it, this is the coolest thing about this drone, I would say. You can see the green lights went on when it works. And now it follows the palm. Use the force, Luke. Let go. 
So my conclusion with this drone would be that it's still hard to find really practical uses for a drone. I don't think that many people that buy drones have a really practical use for it or like need a drone. I think they just buy it because it's fun. And on that note, it is extremely fun. I'm not going to be keeping this drone, but playing with it and being able to experience it in all of its features has been absolutely awesome. And I totally love the drone, but I don't have a practical use for it. I don't need that type of aerial footage and I don't need to use it on a regular basis. So in terms of like an investment, it really doesn't make sense in my case and I think in a lot of people's cases. However, if you have the means and you want a really awesome gadget to play with, this is absolutely an awesome gadget and I couldn't recommend it enough. Thank you for watching, subscribe to see more content, and as always, stay classy.